Uh, my friend, have you had bare knuckle uh, competition before? Uh, not competitively at the O2, but I've had a few bare knuckled in my time, yeah. And how, how about gloved boxing and, and other combat sports? You've competed in a ring before? Yeah, we've uh, done the unlicensed boxing and also was a pro boxer just for over a year. So we've, uh, we've tried, tried over here. I was talking with Josh Burns, one of the big heavyweights, and, and he actually made the comparison that getting hit in bare knuckle is closer to, as you put it, not competitive, so a street fight. He said the impact in the experience for him is much closer to a street fight than it is to, to uh, organize combat sports. So it sounds like you're ready. Yeah, I think that uh, under the belief when you've got your gloves on, you can box for longer and sort of, sort of be more defensive. I believe with Ben Uckle that you've not got that luxury and uh, when that bell goes ding, if you're not throwing the shot to end the fight, your opponent is throwing the shot to end the fight. So it's pretty much on since that first bell, you know. The, for a lot of the guys, the idea that they can not only get paid to fight, but go in and be free. They're not going to get in trouble. There's no confusion as to the agreement. This allows them to go in and, and, and fight freely in a bare-knuckle contest. You've got to be excited about that as well. I'm absolutely buzzing for it. Uh, I'm more do it for uh, a sort of something I'm finding deep inside myself, my mental side of it. It's the biggest challenge that I possibly could do, fight in front of thousands of people in a bare-knuckle contest. I've done the pro boxing. I've done the unlicensed boxing. I I wanted to step up to the next test, and I believe that's what I've done. Get in there and enjoy it, my friend. It's going to be a pleasure to call your fight. Lovely. Thank you, mate.